what we see, especially in our install base and when it comes to ERP, actually we, we are gaining market share. We are winning market share. And there are many customers also now in Davos who come to us and said, hey, SAP, please really lead us into the next chapter. You know, really, you know, they, they talk, we talk about how can artificial intelligence as part of our ERP solution drive the productivity of these companies. Now in Davos, uh, sustainability is at the top of the agenda. Now we are having plans now to also not help our customers to become a more productive company in the digital world, but also how can we you know, drive sustainability? And we are actually very, very confident that we will also further expand market share by also giving our customers choice. So we are saying we definitely consider where they are right now. They are wanting huge also on-premise installation while we are also moving our customer base now step by step to the cloud. And we find this is a winning strategy that we also give our customers choice and take them step by step to the next chapter. Larry says he's stolen one of your major customers. He's going live with them this first quarter. Yeah, we, we're hearing a lot of talk, but we've been, we've been really just focused on the customer base. And I want to build on what, what Christian just said, the, the concept of choice. Right? Our customers have a lot of voices around their table right now. You see we're here in Davos. We have incredible technology companies that are here, many of whom also share the same customers we do. One of the things that's always differentiated SAP is we've had such an open ecosystem. We always make sure we understand what are the other trends out there? What are the other technologies that complement what, what we do very, we very well? We make sure we co-engineer, co-innovate. So our customers are able to actually leverage SAP in the context of moving to the cloud. For example, many of our customers are moving their workloads to the public cloud, whether it be with Microsoft Azure, AWS, Google Cloud. We work with all of them. So the ability for our customers to get the best of SAP alongside of other choices that they're making gives us a flywheel effect and an advantage for the customer. You're both in lockstep here trying to move the conversation away from your competitor. But before we move on yeah. too much, I just want to get to the point of what we're, you, we're facing here. Larry Ellison's the CTO at Oracle. Mm -hmm. You were CTO. Can he simply just out-innovate you? I mean, we, of course, also, you know, got the talk and we also heard about customers moving away from SAP. Actually, we double-checked and... Honestly, I couldn't find any customer who moved away from SAP ERP. We have next week earnings. We will share some names, some concrete names, who actually just did the opposite and really you know, have chosen SAP for that digital transformation. And also technology-wise, uh, when you look at SAP, I mean, we are now also, as we also said, we are now moving into the next phase. We are building a strong business platform together with the hyperscalers where we give customers choice to run on any cloud infrastructure plus then on the business application platform, we use all the new innovations to drive the productivity of the customer, to help them to become a more intelligent enterprise. And we really feel that this is a winning strategy, you know, to really give customers choice on the one hand, but then also clearly take them by the hand and really lead them into the digital age. 